Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you how to launch a campaign and the um, site was down for a while so I uh, wanted to just have to wait for it to come back online. So um, so I think I broke it down to like about nine steps. Seems like a lot but actually a couple of these are just tips on how I do a couple of things that work and um, let's just jump right into it. So once you log in, you're logged into your system. Uh, you then want to go to your data miner, okay, and that's going to bring you to your data mining software. So all you have to do is go to data mining, data mining software, that's going to bring you to this page. And then uh, once you access your software, you then want to go to your extracted leads, okay. So this is part of logging into your system and downloading phone leads Excel, okay. So basically all you want to do is download all of the phone leads. I would give you my tip is the emails. If you're just getting started, it's a big waste of time. Uh, you'll get enough activity with people just calling you. And I think we've kind of proven that. So um, what you want to do is you want to download. And I notice you do have some being uh, Google's going to give you the most numbers. So um, but you can use a couple of them. So um, you want to download, you know, your numbers. So, for example, I'll download uh, Google Hair Weave numbers. Let's see, Google Hair Extension numbers. So download those. And once you download them, you see right here, I download them. It's going to automatically download them as comma separated value. That's just CSV, and that's because the dialer takes CSV, so you don't have to worry about that. It's automatically done. Uh, if you're working on a Mac, just make sure it's it's in that. But if you have Excel and it downloads, it should be in that way. So um, I already downloaded it, and uh, I guess I could show you guys how it looks when you download it. Let's go ahead and do this. And when you open it, you're going to get all this data, right? Uh, what you want to do is, as long as you know the keywords that you that you've used, uh, you can just get rid of A and A and B. So the way to get rid of it, just highlight the column, B and C. Okay, so just go like that. Just oh, you got don't highlight the field because that's just going to grab one. If you go on top of B, and then just keep your button pressed down, and then go to C. And then you can let go, right? So you just go to B, keep pressed, then move your mouse over, a little bit of wrist action, and then let go. All right? Then what you want to do is you want to right click on C, you right click, and then you click delete. And get rid of that whole part right there, okay? Uh, then you want to get rid of phones. So the way you do that is you highlight one, and all you got to do is get rid of phone. Right click, delete. Okay, and uh, what you then want to do is you want to remove the duplicates. The way you remove the duplicates is you highlight the whole column. So to highlight any column or row, you just have to go to that top of the row or column. And um, there's also tutorials on YouTube on how to do this. Um, basically, you just highlight the area and then you just click delete. Okay? Uh, or whatever you want to do. So, what we want to do now is remove the duplicates. So, to remove the duplicates, you go through all of them. Like you see, all of these are duplicates. Right? Or, what you could do is in Excel, if you highlight the whole column, that you want to remove duplicates for you go a we're going to remove all the duplicates here i can see there's some and then you go to the top to what's called a ribbon you click on data okay so you'll probably be on home find the data section and if you have it collapsed you just go to data it'll pop down and then uh 
find the remove duplicates button. It's going to be in every single version of Excel, no matter what your version you have. So it's on the data. So as long as you have the column highlighted, that's why we did that first. Then you remove the duplicates. It's going to say column A, you say yes, okay. And it's going to remove the duplicates. We remove 41 duplicates. And we got left with 12. Then you put OK. Then you want to save this. Save this. It's going to ask you OK. You want to save it as a CSV? Keep it? Yes. Because that's what the dialer takes. So just save it. You want to have a folder where you save your leads. So I have one that's just called leads phone leads and then I have the leads right there so after you've done that a couple of times you probably get another list so for example if we open up this list right here this list we have about 500 almost 500 numbers on here right so when you're merging list all you got to do is simple math is uh, break your calculator out and then just add the numbers that you want over here. So, for example, if you wanted to add these 11 numbers, you would just say, okay, copy. And if you have more than 11 numbers, that's when you break out the calculator. And then you go 47 plus 11, uh, 487 plus 11, and it'll give you that number. So if you have 487 plus another 400, it'll tell you 8. 87 right so um, just quick if you have the calculator but you go on to and then uh, all you gotta do is paste paste them and they'll fall right into place okay so that's how you merge you merge the phone numbers into one excel spreadsheet okay so logging in downloading all the excel spreadsheets and then merging them into one Excel. You want to do that. And here's a top tip. If you run 500 to 1,000 leads a day, I would say you're about 95% sure of getting some leads. Right? So we ran a campaign. I think we did 500, 400. I don't know. I don't remember what was the first campaign. Uh, you could probably look it up. If you go to phone broadcast. This first campaign was 438 people. It's five bucks. So I say 500 to 1,000 because that'll cost you about 10 bucks a day. And you'll be able to get, if you have a decent message on there, which I think we recorded a decent one because you got some leads right away, and you got a good list, you know the people that you're calling, you'll get people saying, hey, I'm interested, give me a call back. And then just call them back should be able to know how to follow up with your services or your event and close them up if they have the money when they have the money today tomorrow when they're going to be ready pre-qualify them and uh if you need be you got to set up a follow-up call do that also so um 500 to a thousand would be what you want to aim for that's going to give you top tip 500 to a thousand they'll give you leads every day so, um, I think I said don't waste time with the emails at first because emails is just, it's just a little bit more complicated than this and it's going to be way slower, the leads that you're going to get. So, um, we've already covered up to number four to recap, log into your system, go to your leads, download your leads onto your computer. Then merge them together. I already showed you how to delete the uh, the columns, right? Because all we want is the phone numbers. The system doesn't care about the websites. Doesn't care about that. All this thing wants is phone numbers to call. That's it. That's all it needs. So once you've merged them, and if you see, I put right here one main Google, um, and this list is going to have. Uh, close to 500 right 498 okay 498 we're gonna save that 
I'm gonna close it. And Excel is gonna ask you, do you wanna save it? Yes. Save it, Excel. Save it. Okay. Here we use. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, so after we do that, what you want to do is load a copy of your campaign. Now, what does that mean? Okay. So after we've gone ahead and downloaded all the leads, and I would recommend you delete them after you download them so that you don't have to go back and guess. I download them, save them, then delete. Come back here and delete. So that's another tip. Uh, then after you're done merging all your stuff on your computer, you go to broadcast platform, then you go to go to broadcast, and then you'll come here. You want to make sure you have some money. If you don't have any money, go to purchase time. It's right underneath your go to broadcast button or underneath broadcast platform. Okay, so if you don't have no money, go to broadcast platform, purchase call time, and then you can start it with 20, 40 bucks, whatever you want. And it's just access you for your credit card, and that's it. Every time you go to buy it, it's a on demand system, prepaid. So um, spend as you go, pay as you go. So, um, so after you're done with that, click on, make sure you have some money, you go to broadcast, we'll bring you to this screen right here, and we're on number five, load copy campaign, and what that means is, I've already set up your first campaign, so you already have this in your system, I'd recommend also, another tip is, do not delete your campaigns, because then... You could always go back and say, hey, what about that campaign I ran the other day? What was the first campaign I ran? It called 98% of the people. And I got X amount of leads from that, six leads, right? This is going to tell you how many people it called. So um, that was pretty decent. Not even 500, it cost me five bucks. So that's a good reference, no tip. So how to load your campaign what you want to do is after you have money then you have your list clean you want to click on create campaign okay and then it's gonna have right here all of your campaigns after a while right now it's just gonna show one of them but you can look just load this campaign so you see how there's gonna be a drop down there's gonna be a list of all your campaigns all of them pretty much should be the same thing. And then all you gotta do is click the button that says load. Boom. That's it. Everything is already preset. Uh, the one thing I would tell you is this right here, leave a message. I actually am not using that anymore. So um, I would say do not click the leave a message button. And then I would say what you want to do is no more than 89 calls per hour because what happens is anytime you go over 89, if you see right here, this is voice over IP, just means internet phone. And uh, if you go to like say 100 calls or even 90, let's say you do 90, you're going to start using two phone lines. And what happens at that point is some people are going to get your message, some people are not. In my in my results, what I found. So some people, they'll do 200 people an hour. Okay, that's three phone lines. Some people are do, you know, 500 people an hour. They want to get through their list really fast. That's eight phone lines an hour. I'm telling you, best thing to do is 89... You know, you could do 50, you know, just have it just call in. Humanly possible, I could tell you there's no human that does cold calling that could do more than about 20 calls an hour. So this thing is beating them a lot. So if you do 89, 
you're going to be ahead of the game a lot. That's what this system was built for. Save you time. Um, then, you want to name your campaign. So I'm going to name this uh, campaign to copy. So that you guys could always know this is the campaign to use. 89 calls an hour keeps you safe. Uh, don't leave a message on people. People, if they don't get your message, they don't hear it. They might just call back your number, and they're gonna they're gonna basically leave you a message if they're interested. So, uh, and in here you have here a professional event. So that's good. Um, and then uh, let's see. This we're actually gonna set this to dash. Okay. So these are going to be the pre-populated campaign to copy. Then you just click on add phone broadcast. Boom. There you go. There goes the campaign right there. All set up. All right. If you wanted to do this again, we just go to create. And then now campaign to copy is right here. You just load it. And then you can call this another campaign example campaign right and then it's all pre-made the way I said it before so if you want to know okay here goes another tip top tip to learn what the checks mean what these checks if you want to actually know what these things mean, very simple. Just go to broadcast commands. Okay? If you go to broadcast commands, it's going to bring you to this page right here. And this page right here explains all the settings. Name, enter your name. Description, enter a description, whatever you want to call it. This is my campaign is an event campaign okay uh, then all these things never called before zero if you're just doing um, if you are not using live call to transfer just press zero we're doing that right so we have zero so um, if you want to know exactly what these things mean, come right here. It'll explain it in detail. So, uh, let's see. So then we'll just add the campaign. There you go. There was another campaign. All right. If you want to change this so that this doesn't come up like this, just come into the pencil. And click on... You can just re-edit, save it. Okay. Um, let me do another one. Campaign to copy. It's the campaign. And then we're going to call this... This is what we're going to call this. We're going to call this... Um, weave Leads. Or let's call this press play campaign. So this is the campaign that you're going to be using. Okay. And um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to assign the message. Now you already recorded a message. You already uploaded it. So... The way you do that is you go to the little speaker, add or upload message. So press play campaign. Uh, we're gonna come here. Here goes the sales pitch that we uh, I helped you make, and we uploaded already. It's already in the system. You don't have to do anything else. Just click set broadcast. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Set broadcast. Set it as a broadcast. 
and then after you do that don't click repeat it's just gonna keep on dialing the person again uh, you're gonna annoy them and then uh, click copy sound files okay and then it's gonna give you the success message and um, after you upload the leads this speaker will have a check okay and that'll be it'll be mean it'll means that it's ready to go okay so then we upload the leads upload leads how do we do that we come here to the two person meaning leads those are people you click on it it says add context to voice broadcast uh, press play campaign that's what we named it right so add context by uploading a CSV file that's what we saved it as that's what it downloads it as automatically so and then we go to go okay so the way we did that was we went over here to the two people clicked on it then we press go then this, this pops up like this then you want to go ahead this is why we saved it on our computer right I said it's in leads it's in phone leads and I called it main Google main so we know this list has been already cleaned and merged well I'll double check it open it see it's just numbers just numbers that's it nothing else but numbers because that's all the thing is going to do dial numbers and play them your message so you double click on it you're going to see some of the numbers it's not going to show you all of them it's going to show you some of the beginning ones and then what you want to do is you want to grab this phone the available fields that's where we only did one one column then you want to right click on it and drag it above column. So you want to come over here, right click with your index finger, and then drag the mouse over column. So you see how the phone image is coming with it? Then once you're over column, you let go. And as soon as you let go, it's going to switch out column for phone. Okay? Can't do it because I already did it. So after you do that, you click on I am allowed to call these contacts and then you unclick scrub against do not call list because it's gonna scrub against the whole people that have used the system those people might have had a different message they might have been they might have called your leads with selling them something totally different so you just wanna get one shot at calling them So, all you want to have checked is randomized, and I am allowed to call these 499 numbers, okay? Because they're public, you can call them. So, after you're done with that, you just click upload. There's an upload button right here. Upload. So, drag the field, uncheck scrub, I'm allowed, and then upload. Then it's going to say great success. You've uploaded it. Press OK. Then you could just get out of here. That's it. You're done. Now, you're not going to see anything here. Oh, it actually did it. Like sometimes, if you don't see anything, you can just press refresh. See, if I press refresh right here, it's not going to do anything. On this one, it does. And then remember how I said this was going to be checked? So that means it's ready. So, we're ready to go. The message is set. We got our leads in here. We got our money. We set it up correctly. You already know how to create copies. I made a copy right here. All you got to do right now is just press play. That's it. It's going to be about 10 bucks to call these people. 
So you have $4, $3, depending on how long people stay on the phone listening to your message. And uh, all you got to do is press play. That's it. Press play and all those people get called. You get some leads. And then just do this all over again. So uh, hopefully this helps. And um, let's see where we're at. 23 minutes. So that's not bad. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Ciao.